in this session we study assignment problem first solve the following assignment problem for minimization now we want to solve following cost matrix they are given capital a b c d these are the workers small a b c d these are the machines and middles are nothing but number of time required to complete the one job from suppose the first entry is nothing but two so two minutes required from the worker a on machine small a now first step we want to find out the row minimum of each row so row minimum in the first row two five seven four these are entry out of these the minimum is two Similarly, in the second row, the minimum is eight. In the third row, minimum is five. And in the last row, the minimum is six. In the second step, we want to subtract all these row minimum from the corresponding row. So whenever we subtract this first two from, when we subtract first two. From the first row, what we get? We get it is zero, then three, five, two. When we subtract eight from the second row, what we get? We get two. Zero, three, two. Whenever we subtract five from the third row, we get zero, one, seven, three. Whenever we subtract six from the fourth row, we get three, two, three, zero. This is called as matrix after row. Reduction. Now, after this, we want to find out the column minimum of each column. So, column minimum for first column, the column minimum is zero. For second column. The column minimum is again zero. For third column, the column minimum is three. And for fourth column, the column minimum is again zero. This is nothing but your second column. This is nothing but your fourth column. Now again, after finding the column minimum, we want to subtract that smallest element from each column. So whenever we subtract this smallest entry of each row from the corresponding column, so as the first column the smallest entry is zero, minimum entry for the second row for the column. Is zero for fourth column is zero. There is no change in the first, second, and the fourth column. So it is a zero, two, zero, three. For second, it is a three, zero, one, two. For fourth, it is two, two, three, zero. Now, when we subtract three from the third column, we get. Zero, four, zero. So this is nothing but our matrix after column reduction. Now after this, we want to do the assignment. Now to do the assignment, the basic rule is. Find out a row in which there is a single zero. So 
in the first row there is a single zero so we can assign that first zero as an assignment and we want to cross all the zero in the corresponding column in the second row there are two zeros so we cannot assign any zero similarly for third row there is no assignment for fourth row there is a two zero there are two zeros so we cannot do an assignment after finish with the, all the rows we have to go to the column first column we already covered zero either by the square or by the cross in the second column we have a single zero so we can do the assignment for that particular zero in this second column and tick the cross the corresponding row zero now once we cross this in the third column itself we get a single zero so that is nothing but our assignment and we cross the corresponding row zero now we want to count the number of assignment so here the number of assignments are three number of assignment is equal to 3 which is not equal to either number of rows or columns means we want to improve the solution now to improve the solution remember this is nothing but your main part now to improve the solution first of all we want to find out a row in which there is no assignment now here we can see that in the third row there is a no assignment so we want to tick that row now once we tick that row in that row we want to find out the zeros so in this row there is only one zero so corresponding column we have to tick so the corresponding column we have to tick after that we want to find out assignment in that column so here we have the assignment so once we get assignment tick the corresponding row so after this process we have to draw the line on unmark row like this these are to the unmark row and the mark column now once we draw the line remember we have to check all the zero must be covered by the line so here we cover all the zero by the line in the next step we want to find out the smallest number from the uncovered element means from this uncovered element so 3 2 2 1 4 3 these are the uncovered element by the line out of this one is the smallest so we want to subtract that one from the uncovered element so after subtracting that from the uncovered element what we get we get 2 1 1 0 3 2 so after doing this we want to add that smallest element into the intersecting element so 2 3 these are the intersecting element so we want to add one to the intersecting element so after adding into the intersecting element here we get 3 4 and the remaining entries we have to take as it is means it is zero 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 two zero two zero zero 
now again we have to do the same process for an assignment first of all we want to find out a row in which there is a single zero so itself in the first row there is a single zero so the first zero is nothing but our first assignment we want to take the corresponding column zeros then we go to the second row in the second row there are two zeros then we go to the third row in the third row there is a single zero so we have to do the assignment in the corresponding column we have to cross all the zeros after this fourth row containing two zero so once we finish with the row we have to go to the column first column is already covered second is already covered so we go to the third in the third column there are two zero so we cannot given any assignment we go to the fourth column in the fourth column there is only one zero so that is nothing but our assignment and we cross all the zeros from the corresponding row now again we finish with the column again we go to the row in the first row is already covered means all the zero get covered in the second row we have a single zero and that is nothing but our assignment so here the number of assignment is 4 which is equal to number of rows and column that is nothing but 4 so this is nothing but our final answer now how to write down this c a b c d these are the workers small a b c d these are our machineries now to find out the assignment and its cost the assignments are capital a is assigned to small a capital b is assigned to small c capital c is assigned to small b and capital d is assigned to small d the cost of all these values are taken from the original matrix see the value of this is 2 value of this is equal to 6 value of this is equal to 11 and value of this is equal to again 6 so the cost is nothing but 2 6 sorry 2 11 then 6 and then again 6 so 2 plus 11 is 13 plus 6 19 plus 6 25 so the total cost is 25 so this is how we want to solve the assignment problem hope this will help you if you want to see the more example visit